Welcome to another video. I'm Todd from First Cut Sawmill. I just got my new E4 CNC router from Bob CNC and I'm really excited. In this video we're going to put it together, get it all set up, and we're going to go through our first project. So let's get started. Unboxing the E4 was quite an exciting moment. Had fun. The instructions indicate you should clear coat or paint all of your wood pieces. I decided to go with the gray. I had seen it before on other videos and I really like this look. The first task was to take apart the router. It was a little apprehensive here at first, but after following the instructions, this was no problem at all. I've always had an interest in woodworking, so watching some YouTube videos, I saw a CNC router and said to myself, I need to get one of these. From there, I started to research and to different manufacturers and makes and models and decided on the E4 CNC router from Bob CNC because it fit my budget and was able to do projects the size of that I wanted to do. Plus, I thought the assembly process would help me figure out just how it works in case I needed to do maintenance along the way. With each piece assembled, it starts to feel more like the finished product. Time for bearings. That's exciting. The manual calls for using tape over the nut holes. I found as I started the frame assembly that this, while it was probably a good idea, for me it was just as easy to hold it with my hand and so that's what I did. And in most cases I was able to do that very easily. So that's how I proceeded. At this point, it's important to make sure the base or the frame was level. point I needed something to hold it up so I could work on it. A paint can seemed to work really well. It was about here I thought to myself, do I have enough Loctite? But I sure did. You may see me keep checking my phone throughout the video. I did that because I was able to see the photos in the manual much clearer and enlarge them.
Time to install some more bearings and the idlers too. Here the manual says make sure you mark all of the wires with tape. Boy am I sure glad I did. Definitely don't forget this. Remember when you're wrapping the wires that the switch only goes in the wrap once out of every five turns. Time to run the wire through the predetermined holes. Boy, I was sure glad they were there. When installing the rods, this did take a little effort but not a problem with a little force. I didn't see in the manual where it said how tight the belts really should be. So I guessed here, but I think I got it right because it works just fine. It's time for the spoil board. Now that's a lot of nuts and bolts. I did use the tape method here and it really helped. What a great idea Bob had for the ball bearings for spacers. They work just fine. I installed the software and lo and behold, it moved first time. Use the free easel software from Inventables. I'll get more into that with the next upcoming videos. The design was simple, just a box cut at one depth with some letters cut at a depth of zero on top of the box to get the final result. And I generated the G-code and away we went.
For my first project, I just used a scrap piece of plywood I had. It had a bit of tear out when it was cutting, but that was okay because I was going for a rustic look anyway. The easel software generates the G-code in two passes, a roughing pass and a detail pass. That's what I used. Here is the finished cut piece. And here is the final product with its rustic look. Hope you enjoyed this video. My final thoughts, the Bob CNC E4 CNC router was very easy to put together, uh, nothing complicated at all. Uh, it did take me about 20 hours total. I was recording along the way. Two week period, couple hours here and there. I did take a couple of days uh, where I spent a good share of the day. Uh, but again, nothing was difficult. It was very easy to follow the instructions and I'm very pleased with the results. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And please remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video.